Good morning, good morning, and shalom. Shalom, brothers and sisters, in this whole wide world. Sunday Walker, back with fulfilling the Great Commission. Guys, it's go time. It's go time. Okay. I'm going to be reading today um, via the Holy Spirit's guidance um, a vision that the Lord has given me on 710 of 2023 so just a couple weeks ago today's delivery day and also a um, an encouragement so the ABC vision is a warning okay on 7:22:23, just a few days ago um, he gave me great encouragement and told me to share so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna share and guys it's go time Hallelujah, 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 Maranatha, Maranatha. 7.10-23, yesterday he had me write this all down. I had seen the vision in 7.10, never forgot it, um, and just wrote it yesterday. The Holy Spirit's faithful in his remembrance, and he will never falter in that. ABC vision, A, Alpha, B, Beta, C, Consolidator, I saw this right before me, you guys. It was about 6 a.m. when I was still in bed um, on the 10th. I'm so sorry. I've got a phone call coming in. I think it stopped the video. Oh, goodness. I think, I think it stopped. Sorry, guys. Okay. I had a phone call coming in, and I never know if that stops the video at the time, but I think we're go now, so... A, Alpha, B, Beta, C, Consolidator. This is the ABC vision that the Lord had given me on 710. Alpha, first, Aleph, means oneness. Beta, house, Consolidator, spiritual formation through Yeshua. And you guys, I had no understanding of this ABC vision. That's literally what he called it. I saw it laid before me in in my awakeness and um when i prayed upon what this meant these are the words he gave me to go with the abc's okay a aleph oneness b beta house consolidator spiritual formation through yeshua and he showed me galatians 4 19 so clearly words of god there are many coming under pressure um through emotional stress. Some are true of me and some are not. Many, many, too many are portraying to be from my son, Yeshua. They need humbling. They need wisdom. They need ears to hear. I say, you do not hear from me rightly. You need to understand how to rightly divide my word, the true word of Yahuwah, your God, three exclamations it's important you guys he's showing importance not of man some from me and some of you are not some are not saith the lord god three exclamations your arrival time draws near eta is now the war coming is not going to be good it's not going to end it's not going to end good russia i have shown you for many years my daughter when you knew nothing of your outside world. And he did. He did. Major distress very soon. Some will be under three exclamations. And he showed me Joel chapter 2. Look out for the lights in the sky, as I had told you to tell before, daughter, for they will be throughout your whole world. I have sealed you with my light amongst your brothers and sisters across the frontlets of your eyes. They also no daughter whom they are the storms of battle are coming as i showed you daughter earthquakes even in your state daughter and when he said even in my state um i said here in illinois lord and he said yes yet many will not notice for they are too busy in their world of themselves I will smite off their faces the snide, prideful selfishness, and the shadow on the lids of their eyes shall blind them. It's harsh words, guys. It's harsh words. But let's take heed. 
Just as my people of old have played the harlot against me, so doth many still. And I put a sad face. Sours, really sorrows me. As it should us all. Um, okay, moving on. Look for the fall, daughter. In the midst of what's coming, many will still not listen, my daughter. Thank you for listening, my true daughter. Now write and tell. Shout it out like a trumpet on the stage. For soon the enemy of old and his wicked ones shall and already are rising to their own trumpet. Obama. You guys, I saw it clearly. He said, write it, OBAMA, all in caps. Now again, I've said it before, I've had past videos. Months ago, the Lord showed me Obama in a lineup of officials. I didn't know what that meant. Many of you prayed on it. I prayed on it sincerely. I got an answer to that. And that's in another video months ago as well. Um, where his real people are going to see him for who he is when he arises. And I'm not sure what he's going to do. I'm not sure when this will be. But it's happening now. This says now. So he says, the wicked ones shall and already are arising to their own trumpet. We're to blow the trumpet of warnings from God, from Yahuwah. This is happening, you guys. Behind the scenes, doesn't matter what you think you know. What God is telling his people is truth. And it will come to pass. It will. And I think this is proving itself with past videos that I've had. And this is coming to light. I never worried that it wouldn't. But praise Yeshua. Praise his holy name that he shows his people. And he shows this wicked world who is true and right. And not us. I'm not talking about me being true and right. I'm talking about our Lord God Almighty, Yahuwah. He proves himself right. And he doesn't even have to prove that. Hallelujah. Moving on, guys. Obama is coming. He's rising to his own trumpet. My people will recognize them for whom they are. The wicked ones. Let the persecution begin, daughter, but fear not, for you know me, and I will, as promised, deliver my people in the appointed time. Hallelujah. So, daughter, tell, tell your brothers and sisters to find joy in me. As you wait, true joy, best advice Lord God could ever give anyone on advice. I don't think any human could, could give this advice. He's perfect. True joy brings energy. <laughs> True joy comes from Yahuwah, me. True strength comes from the joy of me. Hallelujah. And as he said that, you guys, <laughs> I immediately was reminded in my heart, in my soul, in my, in my head, the, the song that exactly describes how Yahuwah has described his joy and what it brings it brings energy um it brings strength and that is the joy of the lord is my strength 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 amen and hallelujah Hallelujah. Brings tears to my eyes. He says, Shalom, daughter. And that ended that. Okay. Some harsh words, but a warning, and it's good. So, guys, then he said, You are going to read um, what I have told you on 722 just four days ago. Today is July 26, 2023, you guys. Um, this was said. From the Lord, 722-23. The ABCs and 123s of God's word. Let's go. It's go time. ETA is now, he says, just as we read. Here we go. Dear daughter, the time has come. Share with my people, your brothers and your sisters, the time has come. Exclamation. 
Do not fear what you shall say in that hour, for I will speak for you. The words that come forth will be my Holy Spirit within you. Three exclamations. Have faith, child, and be in great shalom, for the time has come for many to come home. I don't know how that... <laughs> oh, I'm sure you understand for those that do understand and, and feel the Holy Spirit within you. But to hear God Almighty say that in my spirit and in my my recollection and in my literally in my hearing, my physical hearing to hear him say those words. He says, and be joyful and smile, dear one, for all tears and all pain in your heart, for so many you have had, will be wiped away by my hand in loving gentleness and mercy. As I have heard your prayers and gladly received many for my own, you have remained faithful and strong, abiding in my word, even though I know your weariness, daughter, with much, I say to you, daughter, hold on to Hold on, the time is soon, and all will be well with your soul. I promise my people always, and I always deliver for those whom are mine. Three exclamations. He sure does. You hang on to that, brothers and sisters. I say not one thing that I do not mean. I mean what I say, and I say only what I mean. Three exclamations. Hallelujah, you guys. I was brought up hearing that, um, to do that, to say what you mean and mean what you say. And this is Lord God Almighty saying, I mean what I say and I say only what I mean. I said, a hallelujah. So go deliver my daughter and in all confidence be free in your deliverance for you can honestly say. And this hit me hard, you guys. Hear me out hear the Lord out, not me. He said, you can honestly say in your confidence with this deliverance, thus saith the Lord. Again, I say, be joyful for you are abiding in my will. My law has set you free and free you shall remain. Indeed, you guys, I would, I never, it's a scary thought to say, so saith the Lord on our own accordance. Don't ever do that. I, I could never do that. It can be a scary thing. We ought not say, so saith the Lord, if that is not what he said. Okay? Just take heed to that. He told me with all confidence I can say that. And I trust in him. And um, trust me, I pray and I test the spirits. And this is so saith the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, again, I say, be joyful for you are abiding in my will. My law has set you free and you shall remain free indeed. As many have heard also, so shall they be free. Free in me, covered by my blood and washed anew. For the blood I did shed differs from your world, daughter. It is clean and it offers freedom, grace and forgiveness. Three exclamations. Again, just encouraging us, you guys. This isn't stuff we don't know. We do, but God is encouraging when he warns, he encourages, okay? We're to lift up the body of Christ, the true body of Christ, and warn to the unbeliever and the lukewarm. My blood gives mercy all the days of your life. Daughter, this was starred three times. The days of your life are about to become many. Okay, I, I instantly ask him, wow, okay, Lord, that's exciting. What do you mean? <laughs> For eternal life, he said, is eternal days. You shall rest as you have rested truly in your heart and in your physical being all the days that you have been called to be mine in your world. Now rest, child, and deliver what is good and holy from your father in the name of my son. Three exclamations. He means it. You have done much and I will do much for you. You will have sweet shalom and everlasting life with no thirst, no hunger, no, no growing weary, and no sorrow shall you find for your body, 
for your body has become mine and you have filled it well with my eternal manna very well done my daughter three exclamations now guys i have no boast no pride in me when i'm saying this this is to all brothers and sisters listen because he has called me to share this in in whatever he sh has me share i'm just obedient to him i listen to him i love him foremost and then i love you so listen this isn't to boast about me this isn't at all this is encouragement okay to everyone that loves yeshua and has made him your savior your god and, and you're following him hallelujah through faith we walk and we hear what the spirit is saying okay due to that faith not due to our works but our works will follow it follows in obedience because we desire to be obedient because we love him so much because we are filled with his spirit the holy spirit the only spirit of god the ruach he is our rock okay and our salvation so he says you have filled your body well with my eternal manner manna manna <laughs> excuse me very well done my daughter encourage my people with these words see my true body will hear and they'll understand I love you so deeply, my daughter. Love Abba, Father, Savior, and your best friend. Shalom. And guys, many probably, because I, I really have never, ever shared my full, full testimony. Um, and again, I'm, I'm more than willing to do that. It's just so long. It's long. <laughs> um, a lot's been in my life. And I praise the Lord for that. Today, I praise Him for this because... Through that, he's made me strong. And um, through that, he's drawn me to him. But nevertheless, um, when he says I am your best friend, he's been my best friend since I was seven. Y'all, before I even knew the name of Yeshua, the name of Jesus, before I even knew that at seven years old, I knew he was my best friend. I just knew that in my spirit. I didn't know who he was. Didn't even at that point hear of him, but I knew he, I had a best friend, and that is God. That's how God works with us and in us and through us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, faith like a child. So guys, take these warnings in the first vision, okay? The ABC vision, it's go time, okay? It's go time. It's what he kept filling in my, um, in my head to say. ABCs of God's word, the one, two, threes, it's go time, okay? I think in a nutshell, no, I don't think, I know he's saying simplify, okay? Simplify, because the time is drawing near. There's so much happening. You guys, these words right here, later last night after I wrote these, I need to share this also. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Our humanists don't know, we just don't always remember. So praise you, Yahuwah. Um, the earthquakes that I spoke about in many, many places in past videos, and like he said in this word that I've already um, shared with you, Illinois is going to be experiencing earthquakes. D different for Illinois, yes, indeed. But it's coming. Every storm that Lord God Almighty has ever made, and created in the heavens and the earth is coming together it's it's big it is that's what's going to be the war these are storms of god's wrath okay so what he's been showing me so abundantly and i know i've mentioned this before his wrath is an abundance of storms okay volcanoes lava heat from the underneath of this world coming up creating tsunamis hurricanes you know and from the heavens tornadoes and thunderstorms and lightnings like we've never seen before look up to the lights you're going to see them in the whole world as he says and i know i've shared this with you before but this is coming um nothing he's ever said is not going to come to pass just know that pray on it of course you're not taking my word for it please don't I don't think any YouTubers, not even a YouTube. I am a, a follower of Christ. I don't want to be a YouTuber. I want to be um, 
doing this out of obedience, and I am, out of obedience to Lord God Almighty, Yeshua HaMashiach. And um, I'm in love with him. <laughs> and um, I desire nothing more than to honestly obey him, serve him. And part of that looks like this for me in my life. And I praise him for that. I praise him. I love serving you all. And um, oh, how I desire, like the Father desires, to bring this whole world to him. Because it's crashing down. Humans have destroyed this world. There's no aliens. It's humankind. They're destroying this world. And um, some are going to blame God for that destruction. But no, it is humankind. Get out of your selfness. Get out of you and get into the word of God. Okay. Stop paying heed to what me, 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 me wants. Please. This is something he's been putting on my heart so much as well. You guys, there's so many people that profess to love him more than anything. And they share how he has blessed them. They, I pray for everyone and want those blessings on everyone. I never not pray blessing and, um, and goodness and, and help on anyone. I don't because my desire is what he desires. And he desires that all come to him and find that shalom and joy. That's a blessing. That's true, free, true freedom in what Christ has done. Um, so I would urge you to get out of yourself. Consider God before you consider putting anything on your social media, whatever that looks like for you. Because so often all the world sees of you and this is for somebody probably many all the world sees of you when they look on that Facebook page or that Instagram whatever you may have there's so much out there um, they see the world within you they see the man's heart's desires come out but then you're saying you serve the most high just please think of that what would Jesus do? What would he do? Would he wear that? Would he listen to that? Would he say, good job, child. You've done that correctly. You've said that correctly. You've acted correctly. Knowing that we're not perfect. But he also knows your true heart. He knows your heart. And he says in his word that what literally comes out of a man's mouth, out of their being, is where their heart is. It's where their heart is. So if your heart is constantly showing, you know, the worldly ways, the worldly side of you, the, the humanness of you, reconsider that. Pray. Ask God to humble you. Ask God to forgive you. Ask God to purify your heart so that we may be examples to the world. Okay, and not hypocritical. You guys, hypocritical and pridefulness has been coming up so much in my everyday prayer and um, seeking the Lord on what, I can do through example to help others um, to not be hypocritical to not be prideful and you know it comes down to guys your relationship with Yeshua and truly what you portray are you truly portraying that human side of the world being a hypocrite because and then in the other sentence in the other Facebook posts, you're portraying how much God loves you and how much God has blessed you. And um, just consider and think about these words. Consider what you're truly portraying, okay? Is it pleasing to God? Because it won't be burdensome. 
And it won't be hard for you to see that if you're sincere and pure of heart. Okay. I love you all so much. I want you also to know, um, never, even though it may be weeks, 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 sometimes months that I'm back on here. You guys, that's okay. It's God's timing. His timing's so perfect. You just don't even know. It's so perfect. So there's no need to say anything unless God's timing is right. And that's his will for you. Um, consider praying for many, 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 as he has stated in the warning. Some are his and some are not that are portraying that his son has spoke to them. You guys pray on this. Don't take it as me, please, telling you as another human. Pray. Pray humbly. Pray sincerely. And he'll show you. He'll show you the faults versus the true. Okay? It, it's just he will. And it's as simple as that. Simplify. Okay? Just be careful. Be very mindful, prayerful. And um, consider people's words indeed, but you pray on every word and you will know, you will know with all sincerity who is false and who is true, okay? Who Yeshua is truly saying, thus say the Lord to you, this is what I want you to share, or if this is all from... A heart of wanting to be somebody. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise you. Praise you, Yahuwah. But I want you all to know, there's not one day, one day in between these visuals of you seeing me that um, I'm not on my knees praying for every single need, every single one of you. Sincerely and um, fervently. Really, <laughs> so just know that I hope that that encourages you because when a prayer request comes in, I instantly I've said this before goes up to the Father and I leave it with Him, and I I um sincerely ask for you and uh, sorrow with you, and I'm joyful for you for um, many things, but there's many needs out there, guys. He's coming. He's coming fast and furious, and we know this, um, but there are a couple other things to be done, and I also know that, so always look up, you guys, take these warnings, take these encouragements, and uh, seek the Lord, seek God Almighty, Yahuwah. okay, be looking up, Please, please look up more than what you're looking down into these phones and into your world. Okay. This world has um, put many in a snare with all this social media. Get off it. Get off it if you must. Okay. If you are not finding yourself more in the world of God's truth um, and not being of this world but of God get off your phone get off your social media stop posting your whole life because your whole life right now is God either got you written in the book of life or he doesn't okay it's very simple um, impeccable impeccable has just come to mind. Impeccable. Okay. So, I love you all. Sincerely. And, um, shalom. Shalom. I can't wait till that day that I can meet y'all in the clouds. <laughs> and that we all abide together forever when this is all done. And uh, in the new Jerusalem, heaven on earth. Oh, hallelujah. I love you all. Blessings in your day. Put God first and then others. More than yourself. And watch the blessings flow. 
you'll gain true blessing, which is shalom and trust in our Father and uh, the freedom from this wickedness in this world and everything that comes with it. We don't need it. We don't need it. We've got one God, the mighty of all mighties. Hallelujah. Okay. Shalom. I love you all so much.